Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we will see how to generate triangular and sawtooth waveform using a voltage source in LTSpice. I have already uploaded a video on how to generate a square wave. You can check it out if you want. The link will be given in the description below. So let's get started with generating triangular and sawtooth waveforms. So let's first start with the procedure for generating a triangular waveform. So we are going to generate a triangular waveform with peak amplitude of 5 volts and a frequency of 1 kilohertz. So over here you can see this is a triangular wave. This is how it looks. And uh, if you see the x axis is the time axis and the y axis is the voltage axis. And when I say that the frequency of the signal has to be 1 kilohertz, which means that my time period has to be 1 millisecond. For generating this, you can see that the voltage swing ranges from minus 5 to plus 5. And you can clearly see that the on time for triangular signal ideally has to be 0. Because if you increase the on time, this signal will start taking a form of a trapezoid. And we don't want to do that. So ideally, the on time has to be 0. The rise time and fall time will be equally distributed. So over here, our time period is 1 millisecond. So on time and off time will be 0.5 millisecond. So let's move on to LT spice. Right click on this voltage source. Go to advanced. Select pulse option. Over here, initial voltage has to be minus 5. On voltage has to be plus 5. Delay ideally we have to keep it zero. Now rise time and fall time as I mentioned they have to be kept half of the time period. As my time period is 1 millisecond half of that is 0.5 millisecond. So 0.5 m, 0.5 m and on time has to be zero. And period I am going to keep it as 1 millisecond as my desired frequency is 1 kilohertz. Click OK. You can even move this like this. Let's simulate it. So I will run this for uh, 10 milliseconds, which means I'm going to see uh, 10 cycles. So place the probe over here, and you can see that a triangular waveform has been generated whose swing is from minus 5 to plus 5 volt, and the period for each cycle is 1 millisecond. So, like this we generate a triangular signal. So now let's move to a sawtooth waveform. So this is how a sawtooth waveform looks like. Over here we are having the time axis and over here we are having the voltage axis. The frequency of the signal again in this case I am going to keep it as 1 kilohertz and that is the reason why the time period has to be 1 millisecond. So over here we can see that for generating a sawtooth signal the fall time must be ideally 0 and the rise time has to be equal to the time period. So let's make these changes. So right click on the source. So in this case our swing is from 0 to 5. So we will change this minus 5 to 0. On voltage is going to be 5 volts. Delay that has to be 0. Rise time it will be equal to the time period. So it is going to be 1 millisecond. Fall time has to be 0. And the other things remain the same. Let's click on OK. Let's run this. I'll keep the probe over here and I'll click. So yes, you can see that we have generated a sort of signal with swing with voltage swing from 0 to plus 5 volt and a frequency of 1 kilohertz. So like this, you can generate a triangular and sort of waveforms. So this is it for this video. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts or suggestions, feel free to put them in the comment section. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much.